Hello everyone and welcome back to Students of Gaming. Uh, we just defeated uh, the mighty Mount Germanus because Orlando just is the tits. Um, the so teams. I'm going to go ahead and unequip him of everything. Mm. Do you guys remember during the 2016 campaign <laughs> when uh, I uh, apparently... Which apparently campaign? Presidential. Oh, so not D&D. Not D&D. <laughs> oh, okay, go on, go on. I don't think we played in 2016. Go on. Anyways, um, Jeb was supposed to have had an excellent guacamole recipe. Oh, yeah. Vaguely. And I looked at it online and I was like, this is not impressive. What was wrong with it? Was wrong with it, yeah. it was, apparently he was, he said, he said no tomatoes ever. And I'm like, I like tomatoes in my guacamole. Thank no you tomatoes much. ever, yeah. But he's born in Mexico, right? Or something like no. that. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. He could have been born here, but like lived there, right? He, no, he had a, a wife. Who wow. Was that was Cruz it, yeah. was born in Canada, wasn't he? But he was able to run. No, his. Okay. He Bush had a. He has a Puerto Rican wife. That and he's it. he's fluent in Spanish. That was it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. C. Nice. C. Yes. 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 But his anyways, wife's yeah. a sexy Boricua. Boricua. Who, Jeb Bush? Or yeah. Ted Cruz? Jeb Bush. Ah. Not Ted Cruz. He's got no, a... Ted Cruz is not a sexy Boricua. Does he call her Boricua? <laughs> That'd be really awesome if he did. He probably does yeah. when he's humping. Ah, Boricua. <laughs> Jeez. And then he gets done like, please clap. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's pretty damn good. <laughs> this, this one goes out to my Boricua. Oh, please. my God. Guys, please That's clap. funny. <laughs> Jeff, that's funny. I'm sorry. I feel bad for saying that Jeb having sex is funny. <laughs> well, he's such a tryhard. He's such a tryhard. Yeah. With the hoodie and like the place. Does this, does, like... does this feel good, honey? Does <laughs> please clap. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so these are ghost people. Who wants to try ghosts? What men of flesh and blood dare disturb the slumber of the dead? Okay, that'll work. Men with a rakite. <laughs> or a sight, but close. Oh, uh, we have it for you. Then at last, uh, we are. Uh, wow, wow. Will well, our souls ascend to the lofty plane as yours brought here in the steam? Instead. Hey, stop threatening me, ghost. Are we gonna we're gonna fight ghosts? Yes, they're all ghosts. They're all undead, which means they all died to a phoenix yeah. down. But I have no phoenix down. Ghosts. Do we have any silver weapons? Uh, <laughs> no. They are not werewolves. But we do have fire. And fire will kill everything. Uh, silver weapons are not good only for werewolves, FYI. Oh, I was not aware of that. Oh, well, now you are? Yes. I guess it depends on what high fantasy you're playing. Broke ass Peter Pan with an ass ghost. Uh, there is not a single werewolf in this game, so I'm guessing, uh. Let's see here. I'm guessing. Ooh, can I just kill her? Because that would is be. Is silver fantastic. effective against vampires? If you're playing The Witcher, it is. Oh. Ten well, turns. So. Gotcha. <laughs> I mismoved. Okay, well. Yeah. Hey, hey, you shut your mouth. <laughs> no. No, no. You shut your mouth no. when you're talking to me. No. Aw, they, they have bandanas. Fucking ghosts with bandanas. I mean, they're, they're <laughs> all crips. It's cute, dude. They're it's all cute. <laughs> Cute. Oh, real cute. Dang, yeah. Carmelo, next time you're out in LA, you're gonna get fucking. Dude, I was wearing I was and... wearing this red like fucking sweater, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Nobody wore red. Ooh, mistakes, ooh, are <laughs> mistakes are made. Mistakes are made, yeah. Why can't why can't I? Oh, there we go. I made it back alright though, yeah. One piece. Yeah. Flame on! <laughs> okay, Chris Evans. Boy, if you didn't make it back, <laughs> I would have been real ripped up, man. Yeah? Oh, Ninja cool. vanish! I'm I might even have uh I, I uh raise a glass for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Funeral no. now. I, I can't remember who was with me, but I was at some uh party on the south side, and I was wearing my uh Sacramento Kings Mike Bibby jersey. Is it yellow and black? No, but it said Kings, and oh. they were like, uh, "Hey, we're why are you wearing that jersey?" And I'm like, yeah, "It's yeah. my favorite player." Uh, and they did, they left me alone, but I was like, that was a that was poor timing on my part to uh, Mike Brady. 
Yeah, you no, know, somebody gave me shit back in high school over that too. I had like a yellow and black Adidas sweater hoodie. Oh, it must mean that you're a part of the Latin Kings. You know, Am I right? He was like, you better take that hoodie off. And I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I will comply. I will comply. I never wore it again. <laughs> just said, yep. Not worth uh, what could possibly nope. come out of this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, well done. Uh, I can appreciate your honesty just saying, yep, that also, was that. Also, comedic execution. Yes. yes. Wonderful. Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, man. God damn it. Can't get up there. Uh, the 3PO praise. Yes. Yes. Hype. <laughs> Hype. Hype. Indeed. That's the joke. Oh, All wonderful. of that good stuff. All right, I need to get up there and kill that summoner. <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't look there because he knows. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was gonna say next? <laughs> uh, what? A C3PO and Tone hates 3PO? No, I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna quote Jar Jar Binks. No, you know, were you? The no. Phantom Menace video game? No, you weren't. Oh, I see. I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, but we will have to. At some point. Probably. Jump to the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Shay, you have no idea. Stop. <laughs> Tone is... Yeah, yeah that's basically what, uh, what Tone says. Um, <laughs> no. I can't do a great representation of Jar Jar Binks, so I just do like this ridiculous, like, I'm all done. Wait, 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 wait. Sounds completely can can you do like a drunk Jar Jar Binks? Uh, probably not. Oh, it's just slosh. Just destroy him. Try to sound Jamaican, man. Wait, that doesn't sound like Jar Jar either. That's you... an insult to Jamaicans. I apologize. No, but, but Jar Jar would probably say some bullshit like that. Fucking racist ass Star Wars character. Thank you. Hello, Daddy Jedi. <laughs> oh, my God, he's the first. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. What trash? Disable! Damn it. Jar -Jar I don't think trash. I can. Oh well, no, his, I, I must be able to. Hat, I, j j yeah, right? This hat's what's given him his awful powers. Nice tone. Good block. Just Jeez. like Tone's, Tone's he uh, headband has... gives him his power. <laughs> Why do the archers have such giant boots? What the fuck <laughs> is she summoning that has taken her like 24 turns? I know she's Bahamut. she's targeting Tone, so it, it's gonna be something fucked up. It could be Bahamut, but that would be a bit of overkill. I think he'd kill she'd kill Tone and then some. Right. Shit. KY, okay, you gotta you gotta move faster, man. Sorry. You should be. You will be. You be. <laughs> and Twain cannot act, because he is disabled. At the very least, I get to park in an excellent parking space for now with my horse. Oh, Leviathan. Oh, oh. What the well, hell? Well, you put Tone on a knee. God damn. Bend the knee. God damn. Yeah, yeah, right? Damn. Oh, now she's dead. Good job, <laughs> KY. Troctor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Troctor. Wait, so her attack like, hurts her? What? Her attack hurt her? No, KY jumped, oh, and yeah. his just happened to occur right after her attack. And she got a pole axe to the dome. <laughs> she, yeah, she did. <laughs> Straight to the dome. Straight to the dome. Alright, kill a stupid archer. Now we have one archer left, and then we have no more ghosts. I think. Oh, so go back to what I was talking about in the last episode. So there was like this whole big up, like this huge debate in the uh, Magic the Gathering community. Uh, apparently it was, a, it was a Midwest custom that if you win your game your match you do not extend the hand. You wait until your opponent extends the hand to say good game. Which was always my practice because I thought it'd be rude to otherwise. But if anybody else did it, I didn't think they were assholes or anything. I just, that's not my thing. Yeah, I was offered a good game if I lost. <laughs> Especially if it was a tough Yeah, well, no, that's the thing. Like, I would lose and I'd say good game unless I was genuinely pissed off. And then I'd, I might chat, but I'd probably stay away from 
those types of pleasant trees. Then you get salty every once in a while. Um, but yeah, I when people would like two o you and extend the hand, you're like, are, are you trying? Yeah, you're trying to add insult. Kind of yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and there are people who are like that's not rude, and I'm like, well, I mean, it's not my thing, but I, it's not my thing because I think it is kind of rude. Yeah, it's pretty condescending. I think it is too. Uh, one a, 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 well, I won't call him a friend, but an acquaintance of mine um, used that as part of his trolling, like because he knew that people think it's rude. So he, when he was particularly, this is only if he was like really pissed at somebody though. If they were just like being an asshole the whole game, he would um, elbow drop the table and then extend his hand, and so that. His, 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 uh, his whole arm to his hand, the end of his hand would become like a fish hook, and he'd throw it directly into the person's chest and say, "Good game!" And oh my god, people would like they'd be so shocked that they'd just take it because they're like, "I don't know how to react to this." But it's awful, and he's awful. But it's funny at the same time. All right, well, that was Lake Posicus something. It's not German ass anymore? No, it's not German ass anymore. It's just this inconsequential lake with ghosts that is used as a filler battle until our next large battle. That will be three battles in one, I think. <laughs> oh. Uh, Tone, I think you were Lawfrey. I don't remember what the voice was, though. Just generic dude, I guess? So, you are unwilling to compromise on your position. That was me, right? Yes. Oh, jeez, what the hell was it? It was barbarous, but more wispy. <laughs> if this is... is yeah, there, there you go. This rightful king was his gracious most fervent wish. It's not that it, DeVita? We have no intention no. of laying down arms to Andrew. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Until Prince Orn ascends to the throne that is his birthright. You will not steer the helm of Yvlis at your own pleasure, not so long as this house stands. Do you not know who made your assassination of the Duke possible? I mislike mislike the question. <laughs> it's old school. Lark has felled by a southern sky assassin. Or do you mean to say that you were the ones who sent him? I'll not play at this fool's game. There is to be no convincing you then. Were it our desire, we would crush the Templar is like an overripe grape. Of that, I am quite convinced. Powerful imagery there, Dice Dark. <laughs> Pray remove that fine white cloak beforehand. Burst grapes off leave a fearsome stain. Get on! <laughs> Tell me, this poison employed at Baselet, do you know what it was? I believe it was an extract of moss fungus spores. <laughs> so it was an insidious thing, moss fungus. It takes a great quantity to kill a man, but the toxin never leaves the blood. The smallest, most undetectable of doses will prove lethal if repeated oft enough. Dots. <laughs> Even a learned eye might confuse the symptoms with those of common affliction. Oft as not, the person being poisoned is never even aware. And should they become so, it is almost invariably too late. More nuts. Your late Lord Father was taken by Melody, was he not? Oh! Do you make some implication? <laughs> I told you yourself, you have some knowledge in poison craft. Yeah, I just think I'm What of it? He is. He is. It's a good voice. I recently learned of an interesting fact. I had wondered if you might be aware of it. Moss fungus poisoning leaves spores in the body. When a victim is buried, they say toadstools sprout above the grave. <laughs> Doing a lot of me. <laughs> Forgive me, I digress. Ah yes, there was another matter. A gift from the High Confessor Marcel. You Stone. A gemstone. It is a zodiac stone, a blessed crystal from Mulonde. The High Confessor wished you to have it, 
Please accept it as a symbol of the Church's good faith. Sparkle, oh, Chief, what were they saying in there? Uh, we should have closed the door. <laughs> yeah, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> that would be like Chief Wiggum to fucking forget to close the door and then Lou hears something. All right, next episode, Students of Gaming, uh, start the fucking limbery battles. Until next time, class dismissed.